voice in concert ring. Evermore and evermore. Christ to thee with God the Father and the Holy Ghost to thee. Him and chant with high thanksgiving and unwearied praises be. Honor, glory, and dominion and eternal victory evermore and evermore. Amen. We're on a mission to explore Kildare, the home of the patroness of Ireland, St. Bridget, who went from being an unknown slave to becoming the most influential woman in all of Ireland, as the famed foundress of one of the most significant abbeys in the country's history and a renowned miracle worker. Let's explore Kildare. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. On April 8th, EWTN takes you to the place where those words were first spoken in Nazareth. Lift your heart in celebration of this most holy message to our Blessed Mother. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. The Solemn Mass of the Annunciation from Nazareth. Monday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern on EWTN. Just moved in. No program provider yet. Guess I could still watch EWTN on my phone. It's better than nothing. Hey, you don't need cable or satellite to get EWTN, huh? Over here. What? You can get EWTN on your smart TV. What's a smart TV? It's like a computer built into your television. EWTN is available on most smart TVs and streaming devices. All you need is an internet connection. I didn't know that. Yep. Just click on EWTN's icon and you'll be able to stream EWTN's programming 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all in high definition and in full digital sound. That's great. You've already got everything you need to enjoy EWTN on your TV. Hey, how do you know so much? Simple. I'm a smart TV. <laughs> you can say that again. Check out the availability of EWTN on your TV today. It's the smart thing to do, and it's free. Remember, EWTN is everywhere. Next time on EWTN Live, Father Timothy Vaverick invites Christians to truly witness Christ's sacrificial love and how it redeems our sins and saves our souls on the next EWTN Live. EWTN podcasts are the perfect companion for busy Catholics everywhere. Your favorite EWTN programs are waiting for you to listen to on your time. With on-demand access to audio, you can pause and pick up right where you left off, anytime, anywhere, which means you can enjoy at home while on the road. Or you could even listen to Cresta in the afternoon at night. Just subscribe by using your mobile device's free podcast app. Find old favorites or discover something new. EWTN Podcasts, they're waiting for you. We're all familiar with the gospel where Mary's sitting at Jesus' feet while her sister Martha does the cooking and cleaning. And when Martha complains about the obvious, Jesus says, Martha, Martha, you're anxious and worried about many things. There's need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better portion. That gospel always bothered me. If Martha weren't cooking and cleaning, no one would have eaten. But if you think about it, Jesus didn't say, Martha, Martha, stop cooking. He said, stop being anxious about many things. Look, it's okay to work hard, but Jesus is telling us, don't be scattered and busy, be occupied. If there's a hundred things in your plate, make sure there's only one thing on your heart. There's need of only one thing. And what's that one thing? Love. Receive every task as a gift from God and offer it back to Him and do it all with love and generosity and imitation of Jesus. I know. Easier said than done. Lord, 
Help me to be like Mary when I have to work like Martha. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. EWT. Live Truth. Live Catholic. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another saying, what are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them and we cannot deny it. But so that it may be not spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning, never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who are all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Justice, I will enter. 
Dominus Fobisco. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundo Marco. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions, who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Verbum Domini. During this week, this octave of Easter, we are especially thinking with gratitude of the neophytes, those who have newly been baptized, new members of the church, and those who've come into full communion with the church this past Easter vigil. And one of our regular contributors to the register is a man by the name of Matt Diatuono. And he wrote an article a couple of days ago, Why Did I Become Catholic? And he responds, Because that's where the Eucharist is. And he talks about his own being a teacher at a Christian high school that was not Catholic. And he was going to disprove the Catholic faith, but he ended up proving, proving it to himself in his own research. And so he decided, well, he didn't want to lose his job. So that he could be Catholic in his theology even while he continued working. But he realized that that didn't really make any sense. That if he really believed that the Eucharist is, as the Catholic Church has always taught, the re reality of the Lord's body, blood, soul, and divinity, then no matter what, he had to receive the Eucharist. That had to be something that nothing could stand in the way of. And he goes on to say that nearly all converts have their own story about the magnetic drawing of the Holy Eucharist. Maybe not the exact same story, but they each have some story regarding how the Eucharist drew them as they came to know it and wanted to receive it. And he concluded this article by saying, we want to be close to Jesus. We want to be in his presence. We want him to show himself to us. We want him to see us. We want the concrete experience of looking at him we want to participate in his divine life. We want to worship him rightly. We want to see his love. And then he concludes with these sentences. He said, we, those who have come into the Catholic faith, we have recognized that what is too good to be true is in fact true. And having found the pearl of great price, 
We are willing to exchange everything, including for some of us our jobs, for the one thing, Jesus. And so this morning in our divine office, we had a reading from the Jerusalem Catechesis. This goes back to St. Cyril of Jerusalem, Bishop of Jerusalem, around the year 350 AD. So this is very early on. And he gave an instructions to the neophytes, those who had newly been baptized, about their faith, instructing them in the faith. And here's what we read this morning in our divine office from his catechesis, again, from around 350 AD. Since Christ himself has declared the bread to be his body, who can have any further doubt? Since he himself has said quite categorically, this is my blood, who would dare to question it and say that it is not his blood? Therefore, it is with complete assurance that we receive the bread and wine as a body and blood of Christ. And then later on, do not then regard the Eucharistic elements as ordinary bread and wine. They are, in fact, the body and blood of the Lord as he himself has declared. Whatever your senses may tell you, be strong in faith. And there are other testimonies to this reality, too. St. Francis of Assisi said that when our Lord said, I am with you all days until the end of the world. In his first admonition, Francis said, this is especially in his, his body and blood living and true in the Holy Eucharist. So this is our great treasure that we celebrate during this Easter season. I remember quite well my own first Holy Communion, which was is often during the Easter season, and mine was too. And I was delighted to discover that I'd received my first Holy Communion on May 1st, Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Didn't yet have that name, Joseph, but God knew. And do you know the day of your first Holy Communion? The day when you began to have this communion with the Lord in this much richer and deeper way, the risen Lord. We cannot receive one who is risen from the dead, as we do in Holy Communion, in the Eucharist. We cannot receive one who is risen from the dead without experiencing in some way our own resurrection. We have a little foretaste of that glory that's going to be ours. You know, recently, we had the eighth anniversary of Mother Angelica's passing. She died on Easter Sunday. And as we had prepared for her funeral liturgies, there was a quote of hers that I found that I put as kind of the, the theme for all of those ceremonies that we had eight years ago. This is from Mother Angelica. Jesus, the joy of your resurrection fills my soul with exaltation and the realization that my body, too, will rise someday. Like your five wounds, my suffering will also shine for all to see. The wisdom of the Father will be glorified forever as all men see how his plan and will in my life marked out the glory that would be mine for all eternity. All the trials, sufferings, heartaches, and disappointments will seem as nothing compared to the glory your sufferings merited for me. They shall all seem like a dream, and the vision of your face will fill my soul with exquisite joy I will roam freely in the love of the Spirit forever and ever. That's our destiny. That is why the Christians always 
have hope, no matter what, because the great hope will never be disappointed. The essential hope, the lasting hope, will never be disappointed. Christ is risen from the dead. I asked the choir to sing again because during the octave of Easter, we can sing the sequence that we have on Easter Sunday every day of the octave if we want. And it's such a beautiful passage, and this is a thousand years old. <laughs> this has been sung for hundreds of years, and it's kind of a summary of our Easter faith. Victime Pascali Laudes, they sang right before the Alleluia. Christians to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praise. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. And then it concludes, yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. Christ, indeed, from death has risen, our new life obtaining, have mercy, victor, king, ever reigning. Mors et vita duello, conflict ser mirando. Death and life have contended in that stupendous battle, but the prince of life now reigns immortal. So this is our hope that we renew every Easter season, the longest liturgical season of the year, 50 days in which we recall the end of the story. Yes, suffering is an element of all of our lives as it was for our Lord, but that's not the end of the story. The end of the story is glory. And one of the most important titles that we can ever have is a title that was given to Peter and John in today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They were observed as uneducated, ordinary men. So they're wondering, why are they speaking so boldly? These are just uneducated, ordinary men. Well, that's not the most important title, is the degrees that you may have. They can be good and helpful, of course. What's the most important title? They recognize them as the companions of Jesus. Do people recognize you as a companion of Jesus because they see your faith alive? They see the love that you have? They see you transformed by your reception of he who is risen from the dead in the Holy Eucharist that you're magnetically more and more drawn to? And if you haven't had that experience, I encourage you to give it a test. Go where the Blessed Sacrament is. Go to any Catholic church and just sit or kneel before the tabernacle. Ask the Lord, the risen Lord, if he is present. And if he is to reveal himself to you, I assure you he will. To give him the time, give him the opportunity you know what, during the COVID time, we had, we began to have, we continued adoration here in the chapel and we actually extended it on the weekends as well. And some of the people who lived in the area had asked them to help to cover the adoration. And one of the mothers, she has many children, that she has kept that hour because it's been just a sweet moment that she looks forward to, she said, every week, this hour where she can be here in the chapel alone in adoration with the Lord. The risen Lord is with us profoundly in the most blessed sacrament. And as Peter and John said, it is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard and experienced. And our Lord's parting words, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature.
that is always ours in the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, we turn now to our Heavenly Father. <clears throat> For all those who do not yet know Jesus Christ, that during this Easter octave, they may encounter the risen Lord, come to faith in him, and profess him as Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have left the practice of their Christian faith, <laughs> that they be given abundant graces to return to Christ, who has joined them to himself. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are isolated from receiving the sacraments at this time, that through this televised mass, they may profoundly experience the risen Lord's presence with them and be filled with hope and joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the abundance of divine mercy flowing from the open heart of the risen Lord may bring about greater peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving the loss of a family member or friend, that they find consolation in the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, who is leading us to glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. As we recall our restoration through the resurrection of Jesus Christ and our hope of rising again, we pray, O oh Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Dominus Fabiis Cum. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> You therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith, Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, 
Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service out of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you've chosen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar Receive the most holy body and blood of your Son. May be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 
To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. With John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Precepti salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere. Pater Oster, qui es in genis, sancti Propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordiae tu iariuti, per peccato simus semper liberi, et ab omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatum spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Christe quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem relenquo vobis, pacem meum do vobis, nere spicias peccato nostra sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, eiam quae secundum voluntatem tuam pacificare a coaronare digneris, qui vivis ad regnas in secula seculorum. Sto homini sit semper vobiscum. Et un spiritum
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be All of you who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. Most loving Jesus, I adore thee with a lively faith, who art present in this sacrament by virtue of thine infinite power, wisdom, and goodness. All my hope is in thee. I love thee, O Lord, with all my heart, who has so loved me, and therefore I desire to receive thee now spiritually. Come, therefore, O Lord, to me in spirit, and heal my sinful soul. Feed me, for I am hungry. Strengthen me, for I am weak. Enliven and sanctify me with thy sacred body and blood. Deliver me from all sin, and make me always obedient to thy commandments. And let me never be separated from thee, my Saviour, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit livest and reignest, one God, world without end. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Dominus Vobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. In order to make the first Saturday's devotion, which Our Lady of Fatima requested, we now pray the joyful mysteries of the Holy Rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the offenses against her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Then Mary said to the angel, how shall this be since I know not man? Mary was betrothed to Joseph, and so her question to the angel only makes sense if she intended to always remain a virgin for God. Mary is, in fact, perpetually a virgin, before, during, and after the birth of Jesus. On this second of the five first Saturdays, we make reparation for offenses against her, perpetual virginity, seeking to make reparation for those who deny or reject it, and for those who blaspheme or ridicule her perpetual virginity. Conversely, we proclaim with love, admiration, and gratitude the truth of Mary's perpetual, perpetual virginity. For it is and was fitting for the one who would bear God's only begotten son, Jesus. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Gabriel said, And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth and her old age has also conceived a son. 
And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Mary, we believe together with you that with God, nothing will be impossible. We make these first Saturdays in order to fulfill your request at Fatima, to make reparation for the sins of the world, and so to bring about through you peace in the world. Mary, pray for us and pray for peace in the world. For without God, we are lost. But with God, nothing will be impossible. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for our old God and O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. third joyful mystery, the Nativity. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Joseph is told by the angel that Mary has conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mary is the new Ark of the Covenant, God's sacred vessel. She who is perpetually a virgin before, during, and after the birth of Jesus. We proclaim, we honor and proclaim this truth about Mary and pray for greater modesty and holy purity throughout the world. For these virtues make our hearts resemble those of the Holy Family. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you, save souls. Help many today discover the beauty and joy of holy purity. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be the mercy. Fourth joyful mystery, the presentation in the temple. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Obedient to the angel Gabriel's word and obedient to the law of God in the presentation, Mary's food, like that of Jesus, was to do the will of the Father. Holy Mary, teach us to fulfill the will of the Father and to be perfect disciples of Jesus, as you were. We wish to be known as your children, always ready to fulfill our part in the plan of God for the salvation of the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us, us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus. Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. Jesus is the joy of every human heart, and Mary, too, rejoiced in him. Holy Mary, help many lost souls to experience the joy of finding Jesus. You are indeed blessed, for God has done great things for you. Help us all to be blessed by the presence of Jesus in our lives. May our lives magnify the Lord with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for all the time, and time. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And again, the plenary indulgence, we pray for our Holy Father's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 